Everything that happens in your body is just chemistry. And the essential oils are uniquely qualified with that recognized chemistry that you heard Emily mention. Essential oils are unique because they work at the cellular level. With that knowledge and with that understanding, it led us into our next phase of research in doTERRA. This has been a progression from the beginning of where we were to where we are today. We started looking at receptor docking. If we know that essential oils have selectivity, then we need to know what cells they're interacting with and what receptors they're interacting with. So we have to understand all of the chemistry. And that gave us some insights into what oils are really good for very specific things outside of our own experience. We also looked at the entire human genome. I believe that was in 2016. We introduced to you that we looked at more than 22,000 genes, the entire human genome. And we knew what the essential oils were doing to upregulate and downregulate those very specific proteins. So we have selectivity with the essential oils. And then lastly, we started looking at biochemical pathway. And so we had greater understanding on how the oils were interacting with cells specifically. Now, all of that led to one piece of knowledge which is essential for you to understand. The efficacy of essential oils is always an issue of complete chemistry. In other words, if I fractionate out the essential oil, some of the chemistry is missing. It's different than what we find in nature. Or if I add an adulterative component into it, it changes the context of that chemistry. So it's an issue of complete chemistry.